All right, there is a convergence of developments going on. It's to create parking, but it's going to cause some issues when it comes to Mardi Gras. Yeah, because construction of the Corps of Engineers mm -hmm. headquarters building is eating up parking spaces at the Civic Center. Fox 10 News' Brendan Kirby been digging into this for us. So, Brendan, the cruise ship is playing into all of this, too. Yeah, that's right, Lenise and Byron. The Civic Center construction means that overflow cruise parking will have to be moved and that will displace what's been known as RV City. Mardi Gras in Mobile is going to be different this year. For years, revelers and campers have set up underneath the Interstate 10 underpass, but the city is setting aside space for 225 cars there to supplement the 500 at the Mobile, Alabama Cruise Terminal. That means there will be no RV City this year, according to Mayor Sandy Stimson. RV City was not a function of the city. You know, we just helped them uh, secure that property, let's say, from the state because it was state controlled. And so it's really up to them if they can find another location. If we can work with them to, to do that, you know, we will help them. In the past, the Civic Center has been used for overflow cruise parking. But that parking lot is now a construction site. Workers are laying the foundation for a new regional headquarters for the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. That has cut parking from 1,200 spaces to 650. And soon, the work will begin on a city-built parking deck that temporarily will reduce parking to between 150 and 200. Wayne Dean, who for more than three decades has portrayed Chief Slackabama Renico during Mardi Gras, says losing RV City will be unfortunate. You know, that was kind of one of the neat things about Mobile uh, uh, Carnival, Mardi Gras, that you had this place for people that could take their RVs and park. Kendall Wall, general manager of the company that manages the Civic Center, says discussions are underway about how to accommodate revelers. One idea is to run a shuttle service, Wall says, but he adds nothing has been decided. He says parking will be a challenge and not just for Mardi Gras. A lot of this stuff is, you know, has already been on the books for a while, so this is going to be a uh, execution situation of how do we, you know, how do we handle this for the public? Because this is going to be moving, it's going to be flowing every time. It's going to be a little bit different. It looks like that RV City may be gone permanently. The new I-10 bridge is going to use up that space. There has been talk of finding another spot. One idea is a city-owned park on Texas Street. Reporting live from the news center, Brendan Kirby, Fox 10 News.